Are you someone who suffers from weakness in the calf area? Would you like to know whether this muscle group is hindering your function and mobility? If you would, then this video is for you. My name is Dr. Mike, and I'm a physical therapist providing tips on how to build strength and longevity with your body. In today's video, I wanted to teach you how you can assess how strong your calf muscles are, and most importantly, show you one of my favorite exercises to build strength here. Now, why are the calves so important? As we get older, the calves become a neglected muscle group and they are often the last muscles we want to train. They are smaller, they aren't aesthetically pleasing, and are a muscle group that just doesn't seem like it would make a significant difference in regards to your health. But coming from a physical therapist who treats many people who suffer from knee pain, ankle issues, and instability in the lower leg, I'm here to tell you that you shouldn't ignore this muscle group. Having strong calves will allow you to participate safely in high impact activities like jumping or running, will allow you to have good balance and steadiness on your feet, and will prevent you from running into ankle or feet issues down the road. Now the easiest way that we can assess this area is by using what we call a manual muscle testing grading scale from a one to five using the single leg heel raise. This test is used in the rehabilitation setting to assess the functional strength, the endurance, and the performance in the gastrocnemius muscle group. You can test this on yourself at home by standing on one foot, preferably barefoot, with your hands lightly on the wall or on a counter for balance and support. Then what you're gonna do is raise as high as you possibly can on the ball of your foot, lifting your heel off the floor and return it back down. You will attempt to perform this on each leg for a maximum of 25 repetitions. If you're able to perform 25 repetitions at full range of motion, then you would give yourself a grade of five out of five on this test. If you're only able to perform between two to 24 repetitions, you would receive a grade of four out of five. If you're only able to complete one repetition, you would give yourself a grading of three out of five. Now, if you weren't able to complete any heel raises in a standing position, but could flex your calf against some manual resistance, like a resistance band while sitting, you would grade yourself no higher than a two out of five. Now, to ensure that you are performing this test correctly without any compensations, you wanna make sure that you don't allow your knees to bend, ensure that you're moving through full range of motion, ensure that you don't allow any rocking or excessive momentum of your body, and to not overuse your hand support along the wall. So if you scored a five out of five, then this means that you're actually strong in this muscle group. But if you scored anywhere below that, then you most likely could benefit from focusing and training these muscles more frequently. Most importantly, this test gives you a basic understanding of where you stand when it comes to the strength in the lower half of your leg. One of the best ways that you can strengthen your calves is by adding in some weighted single leg heel raises with use of a deficit like a step or a slant board. This will allow you to feel a greater stretch in the calf and the Achilles tendon and help you build strength through greater ranges of motion. You can start off with a very light weight and aim to work on three to four sets, 10 to 12 repetitions at a time, at least two times per week. So that was one simple test that you can use at home to see how strong your calf muscles are. And now that you can figure out where your weaknesses are, you can focus on dedicating more time and effort in this area. Now, if you weren't happy with your score and you wanna learn more about how to build stronger calves, then check out this video I made here. In the meantime, thanks for watching today and please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep making videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.